Hello, my name is Matias. I would like to invite you to my next course in the Future Media Academy website. Um, the course is called High Tech Music for Beginners and it's, uh, it's a 15 hour course based uh, on, on my method of working with Ableton Live and uh, well other BSTs and tools. I, the course is presential, you, ha you have to be there to take each class, but uh, the classes are recorded and uploaded to the, to the website every day. So in case you miss one class or you cannot assist, uh, there is the possibility to watch them and as long as the course is active, you will be able to to watch the class. So thank you guys for watching. I'll leave you with a little tutorial video, a little uh, piece sample of, of one of the classes. And uh, yeah, see you there. One of the best synthesizers ever. If you want to open this, you need to get this version, version 2.86, 1.286. And uh, this is not only two oscillators, full fledged oscillators, but it has uh, two basic ones, a noise one, a sub one. And uh, these oscillators are very, very powerful in the sense that you can add your own waves, you can create. Uh, your own waves out of a mathematical formula, if you will. If you know how to do that, you can insert this math formula and, and get your own shape. I don't know how to do that, but it's clearly possible. And you can change uh, things here, you know, if, if you know what you're doing. Uh, you can, it also has a, a voice synthesizer. So if you put America or motherfucker in, into this, it will generate the, the shapes for this, and it will allow you to uh, allow you to basically make serum talk. What other word can we put? Give me a word, guys. You tell me the word. I'm not going to put motherfucker because it's. it's not very professional. All right, too slow. I'm going to say Papa Kuka, la Papa Kaka. Okay, bear with me. <laughs> okay, that's too many syllables that are the same, so it. Uh, it doesn't really, I mean, yeah, it says Papa Kuka, Papa Kaka, but yeah, no, okay, let's put a butterfly, a schmetterling. Butterfly, okay, butterfly, let's go. Trump douche, okay, I like that one. Trump douche, okay, you have to put quote unquote the word so it knows that you are trying to use this, the vocal synthesizer. <laughs> Okay, that's too slow. Let's go one bar modulation. Yeah, that one didn't work so well. Super crally frishy listy quespialidosus. I don't think it's gonna work. It's too too long. But if I put let's put motherfucker. This I know because sorry about the word, but uh, if I if somebody gets offended, but I know for a fact that this one works. So sorry, yeah. That this you can see. Yeah, it does work. So um, you can have, have fun with that. It's just uh, one feature. It doesn't mean that I use it a lot, but it's there and it's quite trippy. Um, and also, of course, you can load your own shapes right here from your sample pack, your voice, your synth, your whatever. Where are you? Why did I lose you? Why did I lose you? I think I added the crash somewhere. Did I do that? Oh my Jesus Christ, bro. Let's go and see the undo history. Uh huh, undo insert device. Pretty sure it's this. So now we are back into the serum. Serum. 
So if I wanted to add my own shape. So if I load this, it will ask me the frame uh, frame size basically for this. Instead, it's how many samples it will uh, accommodate in one frame. So that will I normally use 124, 1024, and this will generate a, a 14 frame wavetable. That yeah it will be similar to the, the sound, this sound. Hi. With this modulation, the way to your position, we kind of go through all of them. So um, it, there's a few things that you have to do to these guys to make them more, uh, the, yeah, the, to make that transition in between the, the shapes a bit better. It's uh, the morph to zero fun. Uh, the what was it? The X fade. So you remove the edges and the the clipping, possible clippings. The normalize each. Why does it do that? This is a bug, I think. Why it creates so many? And uh, what else? I used to uh, used to do the yeah. Basically, these three are the most important ones: the the morph, the um, normalize. So every 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 shape, even the ones that have si almost silence, they are put to a higher uh, volume possible. And so by doing that, you get uh, more more out of every every frame, no? even the ones that have low volume. And yeah, this is a way, easy way to create your own tables. And uh, there's also a very nice set of wave tables coming with this guy. They have also downloaded the massive tables. So if you want to use massive ones, or, talking, or AI, You can also, what is this, the virtual riot? Well, this, you, the, the Bowel, the spectral, digital, and analog are the ones that comes by default. This you will, you will find in your factory serum. Um, <clears throat> so in, in wavetable synthesis, there's two parameters, two new parameters that we've introduced uh, to, to our normal or, or the ones we know already. It's a wavetable position because this is not a, it's just one one wave, but it's a bunch of waves, uh, a bunch of frames that form a wave. So normally those tables are already a nice, interesting sound that you can make even more modulated, the more FM, and more things, more warp, more things can happen to it. But for example, this is one I like a lot to use from the factory set because it's a very FM one that has already modulation on it. And as you can see here in this, this is a visual representation of, of the wavetable itself. And the, the, the yellow thing is the wavetable position going up because I have a modulation here. If, if I didn't have this, I would have to do it by hand. So how this uh, modulation work? It's it's pretty simple. This and the massive and the massive X are semi-modular synthesizers, meaning that every module modulator that you find here can be attached to any parameter that you see on screen, even the ones here and the ones here, some of the ones here. So any any effect that you put or any oscillator parameter or filter parameter can be modulated by either the envelopes. As soon as you add the fourth, okay, sorry. As soon as you add the fourth LFO, you can add a new one. And as soon as you add the, I think eight is the top, you can have up to eight LFOs. So yeah, if I remove this, we don't use them, you go back to four because it's just 
or simple to see, just four. And most of the sounds don't have more than four. So um, <clears throat> another parameter that you will find that is new is here is the warp. Uh, this will allow you to warp those shapes. Warp in English is like the figuration. So it will allow you to, to warp those shapes symmetrically to the center, asymmetrically to one side. Uh, that will allow you to mirror them. So this will add an extra dimension of modulation to this, to this in the size. In this case, I have LFO2 changing this sound. These are three parameters, and as you can see, here we have three, meaning that we have three things being modulated. If I hold my mouse here, it will tell you also which are the destinations for this LFO one. LFOs in, in Serum are pretty easy to use and very flexible, or, or I kind of find a, a better word for that, but meaning that they can turn into a sequencer if you hold the Shift key, and they will just create square modulation. Or uh, you can use the basic shapes such as so up, so down. You can find them here, sine square, flat 50, which is starting from like the, the one you come seeing when, when you put it. No, actually, what, what does, what is the first? Yeah, it's a triangle, the first that comes with it. Uh, <clears throat> so. a nice sound just by doing some well, position modulation and some mirroring. And if I want to make this a bit interest, more interesting, I would put some curves to it and a flat part also, like a, a part that it keeps the same value flat for a while. So yeah, this is um, the filters are probably the best part of this synthesizer, and this is where Steve Duda uh, actually hired a different company, Cymatics, the guy from uh, Cymatics, no, uh, Cytomic, <laughs> Cymatics. I'm, I'm an old man, okay. I cannot uh, retain a lot of information. Uh, Cymatics is a company from samples, and Cytomic is the company that did the glue uh, compressor for live also, Cytomic. And this uh, proper audio engineer that did all the math for all these filters. And this is where I think Serum excels, you know, because it's compared to other synthesizers. In this one, you will find a bunch of types, way more than massive way more than Wavetable. Wavetable is the, the one from live. It was included in version 10. So let's go quickly to the, to our book. Here it is. Um, and let's go to this. I made, yeah, I made a chart here. So, uh, Massive has more, I should include Massive X now, and this one is a bit dated, but Massive have, has more oscillators, but check the, okay, I didn't put one million, did I put, okay. It's not one million, I was I was joking here, but it's definitely more than 12 and more that, than five on the wave table. This one has, I don't know how many, but uh, it has a bunch here, a bunch here, a bunch here, and a bunch here, and they kept adding here, we have, uh, after version 1.2, they added the discoms, all these ones, and the screams. So there's, there's always a bunch of filter types. And this is all the part I think the, the Serum excels and it becomes way better than, than in any of those others that I mentioned previously. Once you've made your modulation, you can always, uh, for example, if you make a modulation and this is in the middle, uh, like it is by default. I don't know if I'm gonna nail this, but when you make the modulation here, by default, this will create a bipolar modulation, meaning that it will go both ways. And this is not what we want sometimes. Even though it sounds good. 
If you want to make your modulation uh, unipolar or just go in one direction, you can come here and set the type to unipolar. There you go, just one wave. <laughs> Um, I like a lot this, let's talk about these two groups first and then we're going to go to the flanger ones and the comp ones, which are super interesting, of course, but we will need the, a bit more theory to do those. Uh, multi are basically the, the basic low pass, high pass, band pass, whatever notch, but combined, combining two filters into one module. For example, this is a high pass and a notch. So this cutoff will control the high pass cutoff, but this one will control the notch cut off. So we can have two modulations in one filter type. Um, so if you want the filter to actually filter all the oscillators, you have to switch this on and enable, for example, the noise, if you want the noise to be there. I like the noise uh, oscillator because it just fills all the gaps that this guy is going to leave open. So if I want the sound to be full all the time, I'm going to put some, some noise on it. Maybe with also level, no? so it goes up whenever my only four goes up. So I mean, the fat, no, the fat is, this is frequency two because we are using a, a multi-filter. That means that it has two cutoffs per, per model. filter is not enough, you can always add more filters here in this part, uh, even the EQ and the filter. The EQ can be considered a filter depending which curve, curve you use, but you can add, for example, a little bit of movement here. If you wanted to, the filter here is also usable. It has all the same, exactly the same modes that you will find here. Distortion is nice. Uh, you can use a uh, distortion that goes into the only affecting the this range of frequencies. You can make it move as well. I thought you could, yeah, you can. Face is nice as well. Just using a little bit, not a lot. Very moderate frequency changes can be good. And now we have 11 modulations, 11 destinations on this LFO one. This is what makes a, a good wobble, I think, when you have, I mean, uh, at least it's not a lazy one. A lazy wobble would be just modulating the cutoff, the low pass, that's it. In this case, we're modulating 11 parameters that make this sound go wobble and they make this sound go shut 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 down you know when it, when it's when it's low when it's in this point um this four macros allows i think there's more than four if not okay not not the same uh, technique as the other ones it's only four macros and you can set the uh, same way with live 
set a minimum. For example, if I want this to be the minimum and the maximum. So we can have more definition on this knob than, than we have here, because here we will have to move only this range to, to be in the, in the speeds that we want, uh, slower speed and fast speed. But in this case, we have much more. You get the idea, guys, no? 11 modulations, one LFO. You can do cross LFO modulation if you come here and you set this to the, how was it? Can you do cross LFO modulation? I thought I could. Mm. I can do it in the matrix. So if, if there's something you cannot actually point to, you can do it in the matrix by going here and saying, hey, I want to uh, grab LFO2 and modulate LFO1 rate. So now it's not working because we didn't put this. This is the amount of modulation and this is the attenuator. So we could create a sequence in, in which this guy modulates and changes the speed of the other one. And what you what you think about this? I like it. This will give you much more uh, life to your preset because whenever you put it. Let's go to the to this part. Because the moment you put it and the preset itself has a rate modulation and rhythm. Uh, then it will give you ideas on what to do with track immediately after putting this, right? Because, yep, it, the sound itself has a rhythmical idea apart from the sound. I think this sound might not be so good for high tech music, but it is for for the dubstep definitely and for other styles. And maybe we can use this on a high tech part if we take some of the bass out because it's a bassy sound and we don't need that in top of our kick and bass. <laughs> you 
seven. With a little bit more land. But it's not about how useful it is, but uh, it's more about the theory and the uh, the exercise itself of doing a sound that has 13 modulations in one uh, to one LFO. <laughs>